Ant-Man and the Wasp is the 20th film set within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and while some consider it to be just a harmless comedy and nothing more, I consider it to be a film about wants and needs. This film conveys the differences of wanting something and needing something through two main characters, Hope and Ava, Ghost. Hope wants her mum back and Ava needs to be cured of her quantum phasing. So let's look into how these differences are depicted by using these characters. As I just said, Hope is the embodiment of wanting something, she wants her mum back, and Ava is the embodiment of needing something, she needs to be cured. Hope doesn't need her mum back, she's lived most of her life without her so she can live the rest of her life without her. She just wants her back so she can feel that hollow hole in her heart. However, Ava doesn't want to be cured of her quantum abilities, she needs to be cured otherwise she will die. And once she is cured, she would have filled that hollow hole in her heart of being able to finally live a normal life. What I love most about these parallels is that due to both of these characters wanting or needing something, those wants and needs corrupt their minds as it's the only thing they're focused on. For example, in this scene when Ava and Bill request to use Janet to cure Ava, Hope lashes out instead of agreeing, which is very naive as she doesn't understand the gravity of the situation she's in. She just wants to get her mum back and nothing more. Then, once they escape, Ava lashes out and even suggests kidnapping Scott's daughter when she is denied the treatment she needs. This is a very naive thing to do as she doesn't realise that kidnapping a child is going way too far. Hold on, shouldn't only Hope be naive as she wants something but Ghost should be smart as she needs something? Oh shit. Now you may have realised what I've been saying all this time. Ant-Man and the Wasp is a film about wants and needs. Well, what you haven't realized is that there is a hidden message within that statement. Ant-Man and the Wasp is a film about wants and needs. This is a film about ants. That was all just a ploy to tell you about my true theory. Ant-Man and the Wasp is a film about ants. I mean, how could you miss it? There are subtle nods all throughout the film. Like in this scene, there is an ant in the background and another one in this scene. and the one that is the most hidden is the protagonist's name. Scott, L I, I mean, Ant Man. They thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. I can't believe these genius filmmakers implemented such an incredible and layered Easter egg of a detail to this film. And the reason why this film is about ants is because they symbolize the true meaning of this film. Ants are small, annoying, awful things that have no value to the world, just like this film. An awful, small-scale superhero film with no message and doesn't really add anything to the continuity of the MCU. Yeah, so I despise this film. I think it is the worst film in the MCU, and I think that Hope being the embodiment of want and Ava being the embodiment of need was in no way intentional, because this film is just so poorly written and just plain garbage that they in no way could have thought of that. The action scenes are middling, it tries too hard to be funny when it never is, the performances are just adequate, and it has the most poorly written characters and story within the MCU. Also, not major, but Passage of Time is presented really poorly in this film. We are led to believe that Hank, Scott, and Hope have been awake for like 48 hours. If you don't know what I mean, watch the film again. It's... It's horrible. The only good thing about this film is the VFX and costume design of the suits. Back in January slash February, I wrote a 10,000 plus word script, which was me suggesting ideas on how to fix this film to make it better. And then I rewrote the whole narrative two different times. That video would have ended up being about 78 minutes long, so it will likely never see the light of day. This video is based on a short paragraph in that script when I say that even though I doubt it 
was intentional, I love how Hope and Ava show the differences between wants and needs. So if you actually want to see that video, then maybe I'll make it, as I purely made this video just to get that off my chest. Hope you enjoyed this joke video, and I genuinely hope that if you watch this film with what I said in mind, you can see that Hope is like the embodiment of want, and Ava the embodiment of need, even though there was no way that that was intentional. Because, in reality, it's a crappy superhero film with no overall message, but hey, that's just my opinion. So if you like this film, I highly disagree with you, but I'm glad there's something in life that you enjoy. I watched Endgame for a third time. Scott reuniting with Cassie is one of my favourite scenes in the whole film. And first two times I watched it, I teared up. Third time, I didn't, surprisingly enough. Uh, what I did tear up at, which I didn't tear up first two times, was Steve seeing Peggy through the window. Uh, other than Black Widow's death scene, which I cried at again, and Tony's death scene, which I bored my eyes out at again. Just pretty much had a whole dumb grin on my face for the whole film.